Hello, hello, hello. Oh, we're good. We are good. Hello? 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 Okay. Oh. There's a bit of echo there. Alright. We are live, I think. Where is the league uh, playlist? It should be in uh, useful things. No, announcements probably. I can just look up look it up as well. I don't care. I should probably change the stream title, huh? for the Spider-Man cosplay, but Thank it's a mask yeah. with the <laughs> Do I just put on the League of Legends official playlist? I'll ask Bean about it. To be honest, I don't care. Game should be starting soon, TM. I will just shuffle play this. I'll keep it lower ish. I just hope it doesn't drown out my voice.
I forgot. Huh. I'm gonna have to turn this down a little more. Eh? Strike one is a bit of a contentious team. I need to change the standings. It's kind of a lot of effort. The standings are pretty old, but I could like read it out to you guys if you want. I could just pull it up. It'd probably just be easier just to pull it up, right? the ghetto way to do it. There are the standings. That's what we call production quality. So many tabs open now. I'm lucky. There we go. <sighs> now we wait for draft to begin. Use those. I mean, that's yeah, fine. 
We gotta figure it out. Put an underscore to the sun, Dean. I hate you. Kind of helps me, though. So never mind. You're the best thing. Got it. Fuckers. Truly. NALCS production quality, baby. So we wait for the teams to start again. some water guys I will be back soon TM say this should be a pretty fun matchup i do think uh the bitly team or the i guess we'll call it dean's team how about that uh they have a fairly decent shot it's not like a really strong shot i'd say but it's decent enough 
their teamwork is pretty good. They're, they're the friendship team, you know? So, uh, we'll have to see how it goes. Uh, the strike one has a bit of a pretentious team, given the fact that they have a diamond and a master's one. But we shall see. Also, Stanley is subbing for... Or no, Hongwaba is subbing for Stanley, and Psycho here is being subbed for Jacob. Ozzy is being subbed for... I don't know, any of these players. Hongwaba is just a fairly decent player from what I remember. I haven't played with Jacob or Jumbo. Ozzy was a higher player in my last game when we went down. I don't know, play for right now, so. Okay. Hello? Is that better? Question mark? I'm not sure, because it's a little echoey if I turn up the game too loud. Okay. Alright, good, good, good. Excellent, excellent. Should be an interesting game. We'll have to see. Can the power of friendship rise above the evil Grandmaster player? Smile. And draft has begun. Let me switch the thing real quick. Alright, so the Vigar and Nunu first two bands. Fairly interesting. I'm surprised Strike 1 is going for Vladimir and Camille. I don't know who the Vladimir ban is targeted at. <laughs> is that like a self ban? Are they. Is this a meme? draft I'm not even sure to be honest I don't even know I know cuz I know certain things about the draft that I probably shouldn't but it is what it is the Irelia ban fairly interesting the champs really strong right now so I don't blame them I know the Vigar is targeted at Sam and the Nunu is probably targeted towards Miles um, I'm pretty sure Dean's uh, jungler tends to play more tanky champions, so I wouldn't be surprised if this is like a Zac first pick or something. Aurelius for Jonah. Okay, interesting. Ah, yes, the Tom Thomas Kench locked in by the Dean Jones. Let's go. He's been gassing this pick up. It is kind of turbo OP, and for good reason. It's a really cringe champion, and of course, Miles picks the Rengar. Uh, he's kind of griefing because if you pick Rengar into Tom Kench, it's a little grief because Tom Kench can just eat the person that jump Miles jumps on and the champion is irrelevant, but we'll have to see. Seraphine, I'm assuming, is for Sam as well. Sam is a notorious Seraphine player. Very good at the champion though, so respect. It also synergizes pretty well with the Rengar. Uh, the cane counter is interesting. I also have done this matchup into Miles, and uh, I did, I, it did not go so well, so we'll have to see. The victor, uh, fairly safe mid laner for Hongwaba. Pretty good champion. Oh, the Senna Seraphine, that's interesting. Potential Seraphine mid flux? That's fascinating. I'm assuming the Nun Ban is an actual champion, but we'll have to see. The Jin Van is interesting. I know I don't think their ADC plays Jin, so we'll have to see. The 
the Anivia ban. Interesting. Surprised they're still leveraging mid bans. Is it Ozzy or not Ozzy? Uh, Vinny hard locked into top lane. Otherwise, they can't play. I don't remember the rules for this draft. A vein ban, fascinating. A Silas ban. I'm surprised they wouldn't want to leave the Silas flex or the TK flex alive, but fair enough. Dang, ban the ADC out. Yeah. A little cringe, but fair enough. The Akali pick. Okay. I respect that. Every child in Valorem has heard the tale before. About the cursed mummy boy who holds his heart no more. There's no way that's an Evelyn pick, right? Is this the fearsome Evelyn top? Or is this the Rengar top, Evelyn jungle? I have a lot of questions and no answers. What is going on? Strike one is always having weird bands though, so we'll have to see. So, a couple things. This is definitely a Rengar top. Right? Could be a Kali top, but then the Rengar would go mid, which i sure if, if you want, I guess. But then there's the Evelyn, so question mark? The only thing that strike one's draft could the only thing that's like locked in stone or locked in is like the Seraphine Senna. Sure. I guess. Interesting. I respect the draft. Yeah, it's Miles Top. That's so funny. <laughs> Understandable. Wait, why would they say the Rengar into the TK though? That seems even worse than the Rengar jungle. Like, don't get me wrong, Miles' Rengar is pretty good, but that's Tom Kench. That's the best top laner in the game right now. Oh, speaking of Tom Kench. His theme has arrived. Maybe we just turn it up and listen to the theme.
Are they vanning Vigar? That's the I, I guess you couldn't, but they also spelled it wrong. But or is it Vinny? It's Vinny. Let's go. That's kind of good. I like that one. And they spelled ass. Understandable. Wait, is Vinny not playing? Did I miss something? <laughs> what is going on? What a draft. Oh, they're not even in tournament order. Alright, so I am being informed that their Masters player is no longer playing. So, does that mean my game from yesterday didn't count, Smile? I don't know what's happening. More of a dog person, huh? More of a dog person, huh? It's your funeral. Is it assy? It's the funniest word. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Wait, did they just lock in Mundo? <laughs> the whole team is. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I didn't change the capture. Oh well, they spelled some funny words. You didn't really miss much. <laughs> X fucking D. Okay, so apparently the Eve was supposed to be Mundo. No one told me this, but understandable, I suppose. This, I feel so bad for Dean. This man, this is just a shit show. Unlucky. Wait, and that's supposed to be, a, oh yeah, they did pick the cane, okay. I'm so confused, but okay. This is a something of a shit show. Now we wait for spectator delay. Well, Hong Baba is a pretty good Victor player, and Kaisa Lulu is a decent lane with the Tom Kench to eat the person that gets uh, Rengar ulti and the Akali ult, so potentially winnable.
Okay, so apparently this game doesn't mean anything. There's some fucking nonsense going on in the background. TLDR. Dean will make an announcement about it later, but basically we will figure it out later. Now it's the game. Okay, I do respect the Munda Senna lane. I've I tried it with a friend of mine. It is a fun lane. I respect that. Alright, into the game. Let me do the LCS thing. What is the command? Control Shift Z. There we go. Big. Oh my gosh, how far can you zoom out? His monitor turned up! <laughs> okay. We got a game on our hands, lads. The pause and everything. We're really LCS now, baby. Let's go. What a game. $19 Fortnite card, who wants it? Let's go! <laughs> oh, so it is... Wait, is that... Oh, it is... Okay, so it is Mundo Top, Seraphine bot. Okay, never mind. I thought they were doing some funny shit in draft. I'm stupid. How do you do objective timers again? Uh, there we go. Probably a red kin game. It's a little bit of a rough red kin game because you're into like double assassins. So you have to like go tankier rather than cruisery. Which is fine. It does trigger me a little bit that Miles doesn't even do the ward correctly, but it's fine. It is what it is. Because when you ward the bush, you're supposed to wait to like 50 seconds or so. So it actually does things, but 
It doesn't really matter to be honest. Unless there's a reason that Rekkar does it earlier, in which case I'm stupid, but... Good double root from Sam. The Q coming out is super good. It's farming Seraphine, fasting Senna. That makes a lot of sense. The uh, scoreboard's a little glitchy, but. Looks like both junglers are just doing a full clear. Not really much to do on the map to be honest. Hongbao was pushing the wave, such as the nature of melee or range versus melee matchups. This Tom Catch champion is also like super not balanced, so it is what it is. Ballin is a constant uh, battle. Sam and uh, the Senna are doing super well trading. Ooh, Miles might be dead here. A lot of damage out. Good flash from the cane. Gets first blood. Miles baiting his mid laner a tiny bit. But it is what it is. Oh well, I played that fight pretty well. Actually, let's go back and watch that. I'm curious how that fight started. Miles, hold on. He's fan back mid. So he goes for the flash route. Bit ambitious. Humblebot lays down the gravity field, which is really good. Miles gets the cleanse off, but his mid laner takes too much damage from the cane plus the Akali and just dies. Okay. Unlucky. Anyways, back to live time. Nothing else has happened. Excellent. The. Bramble Vest first back. That's fascinating. He is into three, five healing champions. So, this is correct. I'm surprised it's not the uh, executioners though. I would prefer the executioners here personally, but I'm more of a greedy player. So, I I think Bramble is perfectly valid as well. Uh, Kane probably has the easiest time applying it. So, or like he has the most freedom in terms of gold to get the Bramble early. So, this is good on him to get it. So the burden isn't on his other carries to get money or sink money into heal cut. So that's super smart. All five of uh, red team's champions heal like a lot, so I think it's fine. Nothing really happening on the map right now. Both junglers are just doing full clears. Uh, Kane cuts off because his bot lane has cryo to go grab the dragon with his. And that's pretty good. Dean doing a pretty good job of trading. Good trade from the Akali onto Hong Baba. It's Victor. I should probably just refer to them by champion name. It'd probably be easier, huh? They get the first dragon. Uh, Mountain dragon? First dragon is pretty good for their team. Okay, Akali goes for the 1v1. Just one shots. Victor there. Hongbaba probably just wasn't expecting that sort of damage out. Didn't respect the level 6. As I was saying though, the Mountain Dragon probably puts in a lot of work versus Red Team's comp versus Double Assassins. Getting the extra MR and 8 armor is probably pretty decent versus their team. Or it'll feel really good at least I'm though. <laughs> I believe in the Dean Tom Top of Kingdom. Me too, Broski. The young saver Scraggy here on the Okay, never mind. The flash into the wall. Unlucky. <laughs> Question mark pings from his team. Or from himself. Kane's getting a lot of form points off here. Uh good flash of gravity well from uh the victor. Getting Kane another kill. The 2-0 Kane. Probably looking to go red form with the Conqueror here. Could be pretty solid. 
the immediate never mind from Anne. I agree, Broski. I agree. Good folly from the Lulu, just getting out some good damage. Uh, Seraphine Poke is super strong though, so. I wonder if Miles can bring it back. He did manage to get a kill from top lane, so we'll have to see if he can snowball his lead. Okay, good gank from the Red King coming out of here. The Valin is pretty overextended. He gets the ulti off. But his Valin's a little too far away to engage. But he gets some form points. Ooh, that ulti from San, kind of monka, but he gets the kill on uh, Jake anyways. Oh crud. Blue team gets picked up by the uh Rengar here. Super good cleanup from Miles. Unlucky ultimate from Sam, but the play works out the same because the red gain over or the gain overextended. Respectable. Sarah is kind of annoying for blue. As a patented cane player, I think either form is fine in this game, depending on who gets ahead. Yeah. Uh, I w I would say red cane probably has an easier time of coming out here just because uh there's more melee champions in the game, but. I would say that uh, um, Blue Cane has a really easy time of getting on top of the Seraphine. If he just goes for the Serpent Spang, uh, he can just one shot the Seraphine and the uh, Seraphine and the Senna. If he gets uh, Serpent Spang plus Executioners and any of the early Lethality items, he's just going to tear through their team if he gets the lead. But I understand him not going for the lead. It's pretty risky to go blue here. You have to like know your damage really well on blue for it to be good. Okay, this is not a good trade from bot lane, I think. Uh, ulti burn for basically no reason. Sam is just really good on the Seraphine. He's kind of spooky on the champ. Miles is ganking top again. Pretty unfortunate for Dean. Miles has a lot of bone tooth necklace stacks as well at this point. Pretty unfortunate. He might get out of hand here. There is a reason why I've been the fucking Rengar versus Miles, to be honest. This is an annoying champion to play versus. Okay, so he did go for the red cane here. That's interesting. Alright, just good double root from Sam. Or the Seraphine. Still get the cannon, that's pretty solid. Uh, I would say that blue team has a fairly decent scaling comp, but red team also has really strong scaling and they have the front line with the Mundo to send, like if you send the Seraphine ult through the Mundo and the Rengar and then just line up this uh, Senna Q, you're kind of just unkillable, which is fair. <sighs> I also know that uh, there's, there's an Eve pick in the draft that we watched, but apparently five minutes after drafting had finished, that they said that it was the window, which is a little sus to me personally, but I guess that's fine. It is what it is, you know? He gets the consume off here. Or the... Tomkin char? I don't know what it's called. What is this ability called? Devour. Okay. And they should get the kill here because the game rotated up. Uh, Mundo ult does not save you here. Good kill from dude. And... Red team getting the... The fire dragon is super good. The percentage AD with the uh, Rengar is super big. Uh, Hongo was just dead here, but he might get the pickup on Miles. That was a questionable flash to say the least, but fair enough, I suppose. Unlucky. It happens to the best of us. TP from the window coming out, so he won't have it for the next dragon. 
It's Cloud Soul though. Cloud Soul doesn't really matter. Uh, it matters on the Rengar. I lied, but it's a uh, not super. It's really strong for a red team. I wouldn't say it's super strong for a blue team. Uh, Cloud Soul on the Mundo. Cloud Soul on the Rengar. Uh, Ulti CDR on the Seraphine and the Senna and the Kali. It's actually really cracked on red team, but not so much for blue team. We'll have to see. He's gonna have to put in a lot of work on this TK to keep his carries alive versus the Rengar, who has a lead. The Verdant Barrier on Akali is fascinating. I don't know if that's correct. You probably just need more AP so you can actually clear the waves versus the Victor. But I suppose it's fine. He's not even into double AP though, so it kind of loses value. Good are the executioners from the Kai'Sa. It feels kind of bad because your damage is going to be a little gimped, but maybe you, it lets you get a kill later or earlier. Uh, Miles getting another ulti off here versus the pump gunch. He should get out here. They have no CC to stop the W. Miles wasted his ulti on the TK as well. That's really unfortunate since he didn't get anything out of it. Okay, Akali going for the 1v1 again, gets the perfect execution. Literally doesn't matter which items this champion does, if this champion has art, they just 1v1 the enemy mid laner. It's kind of kind of insane to be honest, but fair enough. Red Kane managing to pick up uh, Miles' red, or the Rengar's blue side, which is pretty good, because uh, Rengar should top off the ulti. Should only get the blue though. It's a little risky to go for the romp as well, but I respect the extra stay. He should beat the Rengar in the 1v1. I don't think he had the flash there, but it's probably just a safety flash, which is fine. Miles is probably fuming right now, spam being his bot lane to go in. Uh, there's a TP coming out from the Victor, saving his bot lane here. I don't know if the TP was necessary, but I think it's fine to save his bot lane. I, I think it is necessary, never mind, what am I saying? Okay, getting the knock up on the Akali. Rengar gets to jump over the wall. Good ulti from the Kane though. The gravity well stuns up the Akali before she can do anything. Kane should be able to out sustain the Akali. And good fight from blue side here. Well played from blue side to be honest. <clears throat> the Kane might just be able to 1v9 the game. Hopefully he can. That'd be pretty impressive. Ooh, good Senna combo. Sam should be able to pick up the kill on the Lulu here. Maybe not. Could be a kill on both. Good flash, good ulti. Sam, that ult, bro! Sam, you can't do that, bro. Come on, bro. 2v8, to <laughs> Dean, Tom believers. Hell yeah. Okay, they overstay, though, and Miles picks up the kill with his ulti. Very well played. I'm By well played, I mean he pressed R and Q, but it's fine. He gets the kill, and that's all he needs. That's uh, the... The Mundo finishes his back here, so they should get top tower in exchange for bot uh, for Cloud Dragon, which is actually I think red team favored. They do want these dragons in my opinion, but we'll have to see. Ooh, almost lost the Krug to the Mundo, but not quite. Humbaba really likes this victory, eh? I respect that. It's a good champion, provides a lot of scaling. So the Eclipse comes out for the Senna here. Ah, uh, it makes sense. Uh, I don't know. Kraken would be decent too versus the Tom Kench so you can actually shred. And you still have decent damage versus all their squishies because Rengar is kind of tanky. Okay, Rengar just one shot to the Lulu. Unlucky. 
Oh wait, Polly. He gets baited by the shields. Okay, well played from Jake. Miles just tunneling in on the Lulu. Unlucky to be honest. Akali manages to get out. Super good for a blue team here. Honestly, the Kane has been playing super well. I respect this play a lot. He's been doing super well for his team. He's been at every fight. Uh, Hongbaba is setting him up for success as well on the victor, getting a lot of good gravity wells and baiting Miles in. He's mind controlling Miles into running in on the Rengar. Good ulti from Miles, man. He needs to get that there. But the good oh, that Seraphine ulti. Finally, Sam lands a good one. And then the Kane just doesn't have enough damage to kill here. Unfortunate. Well played from red side, though. Finally, a good Seraphine ulti. Let's watch that back, actually. So they break the tower here. Let's speed it up a little bit. This tower health bar is glitched, by the way, Smiley. So Dean goes back in with the W, trying to hit the Akali. The Akali goes back in with the perfect execution. Ultis gets the damage down on the Lulu. Let's jump back. Okay. The perfect execution comes out. Ulti goes through. And then Miles comes in with the Rengar ulti. And then Sam finally hits the two-man ulti. Very good from him. Well, that's fast. I think Miles got another kill of picking the victor. Which is fair. Miles is very strong right now on two items. Okay, Kali going for the 1v1 on the Kaisa. She should just win this. Her champion is way better than the Kaisa at this current point. Red Kane should be able to pick up the kill, return kill though with the Gore Drinker here. Gore Drinker Thornmail is super strong. Munda should be dead here. The Red Kane just does too much damage. Good keep from uh, Stanley, or Dean here on the top catch. Miles looking for the ulti on the Lulu. He's gonna get it, but he gets polyed and ulti by the Lulu, and then chain knocked up by the top catch W, and to insta death by the Red Kane. Well played from blue side. <coughs> Uh, I think Miles, personally, I would stop targeting the Lulu. Uh, they tend to press the Polymorph button into the Shield button into the Ulti button, and your champion doesn't do a whole lot, sir. But to each their own. I think his best bet is hunting for the victor here. Like, uh, Hongbaba has been by himself for the most part, and I'm pretty sure he got a pick on Hongbaba as well, so. A lot of damage coming out from the Seraphine. The Andre is finished. Red Kane's out already. It looks like they're just acting Dean. Hongbaba gets the return kill on the Senna here. But he's probably dead. Okay, gets two. One on the Seraphine as well. Well played from Hongbaba. Respect to Jake though. He is playing super well. Uh, he's not panic. Panicking his abilities on the Lulu, I respect it. Alright, Kaisa gets the top tower as well. Kaisa is slowly coming back into the game. How do you check the gold again? I don't remember how to check gold on replays, but. It is what it is. Okay. 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 Unfortunate. But they should get the Rengar back here. Okay. Good ulti from Hongo, but The perfect execution comes out from the Akali. 
should be able to get one here. Oh no, I missed the ulti on the Victor, so she does no damage now. So good flash Q, securing the kill. The Victor is putting in an obscene amount of work in this game. Good ulti from Sam here. Picks up one, but they get one back. Unfortunately, the dive doesn't go through before the center root cancels it, so unlucky, but. <coughs> okay. Miles, choose your target wisely. Okay. Interesting choice to target the gain here. I also think the ulti is just grief in general, but. Fair enough, sir. Alright, so maybe my team made the mistake in banning the Rengar. Who knows, dude. Unlucky. Alright, so Kali manages to get the E onto the uh, Lulu. The Shuriken flips, so he, the Lulu probably just dies here. Oh, the shield? Very nice from Jake here. Good emote usage. I like the TF. Uh, Fedora tip there. Very good. Solid usage here. Alulu is still pretty useful even on 1 HP just because they can stand from range and press shield on her carries, so. We'll have to see how this fight goes. Baba is also flame horizoning the Sakali, so we love to see it. Or close to flame horizoning, I guess. Okay. The Lulu gets caught here. Oh, the good E from Dean. Oh, good revenge kill from Miles here. Uh, but the fight should be one. Uh, Blue side favor, although, uh, wait, Sean missed his ulti, or it's been burned. So this is potentially a good fight for blue side here. Okay, Akali gets the execute on the pump catch, but the red cane should be able to put in a lot of work in this fight. Yeah, the red cane is simply unkillable to their team without the Rengar. Oh, nice. Okay, I'm not saying jungle cap, but this cane is uh, putting in a lot of work. I'm not gonna lie. He's got the okay, so he has the gore drinker plus the black cleaver, uh, and the thorn mail. He's so strong, super tanky as well, and he has the uh, TKE in case he gets caught as well. So this is a really hard to kill cane. I think. I think uh, Red Team honestly baited themselves with this Rengar pick. I know Miles is really good on it, but you cannot pick it into the Tom Ketch first key. Come on, bro. That's asking to do nothing in fights. I'm assuming the Akali is just uh, comfort for the mid laner. I don't know. The mid laner's champ. Well, Jake might be caught here. Good root from Sam. Good shuriken flip from the Akali. Um, Kaisa gets the return kill on the uh, Akali. That's decent. Uh, Sam burns ult on one. That's fairly decent, but the king can now run through his team potentially if they don't play this, these fights correctly. Yeah. Dean is really, really tanky. Uh, Miles burn the ulti. They need to look for this dragon contest, I believe, which is what they're doing. Uh, Sean's ult is, or Sam's ult is down, so this could be a decent fight for a red set, or blue team, depending on how they play it. Good root over the wall, good pick. The cane just needs a way to get onto the team. No flash, so it's gonna be a little tricky. He's going for the Spirit Visage third or fourth, which I really like. Double versus the double. Okay, does it get the dragon? Only I can steal from Miles, I guess. Um, 
Okay. Dean's zoning pretty well. Uh, the Akali's going in on the back line, though. Miles gets the Kaisa, which is pretty decent. Doesn't manage to pick up anyone else. And the Redkin should be able to just clean up these fights with the Victor. They do get Cloud Soul, but I don't think it matters. Blue's te Blue team just has too much of a lead in terms of gold. It's a... Uh, 6k, 7k gold lead. All of it's on the Victor and the Red Cane as well, which is probably not optimal. So they get the inhib here. It looks like they're gonna try to double in him. Yeah, they're pinging for it. guys should be out of here. There's no way they catch up to a Lulu with uh, Shirelios. Kali is going the distance though. He has the perfect execution. Goes in for the ult. Misses the shuriken flip. Hits this R2. It doesn't really matter. Doesn't have enough damage to kill the Lulu. Dean might be dead here though, but his Lulu lives, which I would argue is kind of worth, although he does have the shutdown, so maybe not. TP coming out from home well, but to make sure they don't go for the Baron here. Hey, and me, I can steal from Miles too? True. <laughs> but I lost to Miles, so I gotta make fun of him. Smile. Just kidding, not really. Okay. Good damage onto the Akali, half health. It's kinda risky for her to go in. Good stun from the gravity well on, from Hong Baba. This really is, they're looking for this. I will say, blue teams. Engage is kind of tricky to work with, although the red cane plus the Tom Kench does make it a little easier. Oh, good, good burst from Mom Baba. Good TP flank from Dean here. They should be able to catch them here, or at least just go for Baron. Oh, good double knockup from Dean. Oh, good ulti to chain. Uh, Sam burns the ulti on one person, gets killed. Nice. Okay, well played from their team. Should just be the end. Well played from blue side. Very clean game. Red came putting in a lot of work. Miles just got brain controlled by the enemy jungler, to be honest. Unfortunate. Well played. Pretty fun game to watch. But I'm being told that the game might not count. I don't know. This is just weird all around. But well played to blue team. Played it pretty well. IMO. The hello, red came hello, putting hello. in a lot of work. Hello. Did you like the big fish? Yeah. You, dude, I, you brain controlled Miles weird. into jumping in on the Lulu, bro. I'm proud of you. Yes. Uh, did you like the play where there is like four of them all burning ults on the Lulu? <laughs> I just yes. popped in the eater. <laughs> Is Sam okay? <laughs> Hold on, I need to I need to check on this man, bro. <laughs> Are you okay, Broski? Uh, that was a very fun game. Uh, what I don't want to come off as toxic, but Broski, those olds, oh, oh. We we have jukes from God, bro. It was Cloud Rift. How are you supposed to hit any skill shots with Cloud Rift? True. I don't know. There was one of those ults where he shot it in between the two bot laners. And I'm like, Sam, Broski, come on, bro. Hello, Miles. Hey, Miles. Uh, I did not like what you did in my lane, game, Miles. It was depressing. Yeah. I you mean, played really well that game. I just like... After like a certain point, uh, you just oh, can't play the video game. It's a Tom Kench Lulu, right? 
No, yeah. I, as soon as I looked at <laughs> draft, I'm like Tom Glulu or whatever, and they're like whatever. I, I dude, yeah. I'm just like I'm so surprised you actually willingly took the Rengar into the Tom Catch. You knew what you were signing up for, Broski. Come on, bro. No, yeah. I just wanted to play Rengar, but also the whole like calm situation and I like that. team fights and stuff. I know. I feel like I, we could have won that game. Oh, it was yeah, just yeah. like, it was just like a Sam saying like, oh, uh, we can take this fight or whatever. And then, like, some other person saying, like, oh, I don't think we can, or whatever. So it's, like, a bunch of people hesitating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, could, I, mean, I also stop. think, compositionally-wise, I think we kind of have a doomsday clock on blue side. Yeah, 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 they do. I mean, yeah, Cause, but... Cause, cause yeah, Lincoln, that's why I want to finish... anything to, like, Red Kane, Tom Kench, Victor Kaisa, Lulu. It's such like, a strong late-game comp. But, yeah. Like, Imagine. I was... Like, I dived Victor with two of my teammates mid and i'm like oh i'm gonna one shot him and i feel like they after the after i told them i feel like they didn't believe me after the fact because they're like whoa what like the damage or whatever but yeah. they didn't tank a single turret shot or anything they just yeah. like stood there because they just didn't understand i'll play for both oh. teams it was a fun game yeah. to watch i'm not gonna lie i i, I need to check is sam okay is i want to look man? at the vod because i, I want to yeah that that was, flash was that fun. flash early was sad. Oh yeah, the yeah. Into the wall. That was so okay. Pepsi, bro. Tom Kench is so difficult because he's so wide. So it looked like I was touching the wall, but I was not touching no, the wall. No, but yeah, at all. you're also slowed like yeah. so heavily. So it's really hard to flash over walls. Yeah, I'm gonna end stream.